Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. You know what? Sometimes we work so hard and we get caught up with everything going on. We still have to remember and be grateful. You know, I like talking about gratitude. Be grateful that we have one thing. We have one single thing, no matter what. We have our lives. We're alive. We are blessed to be breathing. You know what? If you wake up every morning, when you wake up every morning, Thank, thank God. Thank God or whatever term you want to use. Seriously. And you need to enjoy life. Yeah, it's tough, but sometimes, you know what, you need to have a good time. And I'm saying this, I've said this a few times, Rom's a workaholic. (laughs) And I myself, I was saying, I said, you know what, I need to sit down and enjoy something. Now, I ain't even big on TV, but I said, you know what, I'm going to start checking out a few things just to relax. It's tough. Because we we have to. You know what? And it's not just watching something on TV or listening to music or watching some videos on YouTube. You know what? Sometimes go outside. Take a take a walk outside. Even when it's cool, shoot, even in the winter. Shoot, just put if it's snowing out, hey, go out and make a snow go out and make a snowman. <laughs> Get a sled <laughs> something. <laughs> you know, just enjoy life. Go someplace to eat. Take your time eating that food. (laughs) Seriously, I mean, that's that's an important thing. You know, listen to some good music or some peaceful music or something. Because, you know what, one of the saddest things I see is people not really enjoying their greatest gift, which is the ability to breathe, which is the ability to be alive. Think about how wonderful that is. You're alive. Now, yeah, you got some circumstances that's going wrong in your life. It ain't what you want it to be. You're still breathing. No matter what, the sun comes up the next day. And in fact, I would suggest this. I'm going to suggest it. I'm going to suggest it. If you're able to get up in the morning, there's always a possibility. There's millions of possibilities how that game How that, I was about to say that game. Yeah, that too, the sports thing. (laughs) How that day could go. (laughs) You know, seriously, think about it. I want you to think about it. I don't care what's going on. Something can always change. And that's something I've seen in life. I could be feeling real bad one day, then the next day, shoot, Rob's up here dancing. Rob don't have any rhythm, but I'll be dancing. (laughs) You know, just having fun, you know, laughing at things. Shoot, maybe just go out, go to a park or something and just sit there. Let the wind hit your face, you know, smell everything. Like I got a duck pond near me, the geese. Uh, I used to feed them, but they say you really shouldn't feed them uh, bread and stuff like that. So I just look at them now. You know, maybe go to a park another place, watch the squirrels scurry around or shoot the way squirrels are. You can just look out your window, just watch them, just just pay attention, you know. I remember when I was little, sometimes I would just go in the yard and just look at the ants. I would just look at the ants and everything. You know, whatever it is, you you know, maybe hanging out with a friend of yours or something. Y'all sitting in there, you enjoying yourselves with your friend and everything. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Every single day, we we need to just think in terms of, you know, just trying to find something, at least find something in life to be joyful for, definitely grateful for, just to enjoy it. And as I said earlier, you know what? I know it can be tough. (laughs) There's always stuff going on. But I'm going to tell you what, it can be healing too. It can be healing 
just to focus on, you know what, things are good. Seriously, that's why, like, uh, for example, there's sometimes uh, people, they, uh, doctors, there's been uh, records of doctors giving uh, placebos to people. Placebos. They say, hey, this works, and they have a joyous attitude about it, and it would actually work. People would actually change, you know, or at least at one point. I don't know if they do that now. But I've heard of people trying placebos with people, you know. And you know what? Sometimes even when somebody is sick, if they get, uh, like, friends and family around, they laughing and everything, you know, that's good. Indeed, I would say comedians. Comedians are actually healers in a way because just having that joy, just kind of letting stuff go for at least a couple of hours and just laughing, it is so powerful. Indeed, I remember when I was still working in the government, there was a, we had a seminar with a comedian and he would, he just had us cracking up, but he was saying, look, for all the hard work we're doing, we need to sit back and just enjoy ourselves sometime. I mean, just look, look, I know it's tough out there and it, trust me, there's a lot of stuff going on. I, I talk about it on some of my other channels and platforms, but if we get a critical mass of people that just have a positive attitude, just feel like, you know what, yeah, these things are bad, but if we lighten up, you know, if we, you know, lighten up and try to find find our moments of joy in there, we can change stuff because you'll actually relax more. Sometimes when we're so stressed out, we can't think the same way. We can't think the same way. We're too stressed. But if we alleviate that stress, that, that helps everything else. Because, eh? indeed, stress causes a lot of sickness. So the more we enjoy things, the better. The more we enjoy our lives, which is a great gift. This is a great gift. It's probably the greatest gift. No matter what, everything else is just icing on the cake. You know, just a, you know, it's just a little... It's, it's some chocolate over some ice cream, you know. <laughs> it's, a, you know, and sprinkles and everything. But the main thing is just that life. You know, you're blessed to be alive. If you're listening to this podcast, you are blessed. Don't, don't ever take that for granted. There are people, unfortunately, there are people who passed away. Uh, natural causes, the pandemic, war, everything. They wish they could sit down and listen to this podcast, if nothing else, just to disagree with me. <laughs> I don't think they'll disagree on this, but you know what? That's a blessing, too. Even when you disagree with something, you, you're still blessed to even have that choice, you know? And just having that life, being able, being alive, just be thankful. Be thankful, and then enjoy it as best as possible, okay? So that's all I have for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace and blessings.